Hi, everybody, and welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are here at Historic Club Passim in Cambridge with Mark Arelli. Mark, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank all of you. Oh, no, don't stop. Don't <laughs> stop. Crowd goes wild. And Andrew <laughs> Stern, thank you for being here as well, joining on guitar, man. We appreciate it very Woo! much. Yeah, oh, what a, a fun day to be doing this. Thank you for kicking off the session series this way. We really appreciate it. It was great to have crossed paths with you a bunch of times back in the New York studio, so it's cool to see you in your backyard like yes, this. Yes, welcome to my hood. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're about to hear uh, a lot of music. We're going to hear a brand new one. We're also going to hear stuff from Blindsided, the 2020 record. What's yeah. happening first today? We're going to do the, uh, the second track from Blindsided uh, first. Uh, it's called Can't Stand Myself. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Teardrops, can you cry before that river just runs dry? How can I say my love is true? I still keep doing the things I do. I can't stand myself when I let you down. I should have figured it all out by now. But I When I let you down I can't stand myself When I let you down yeah. We swore a vow For better or worse I know you wish It was more of the first I can't scare my best Won't be enough Oh, what'll I do if I lose your love? I can't stand myself when I let you down. Well, I should have had it figured all out by now. But I'll do better the next time around. Well, I can't stand myself when I let you down. I can't stand myself when I let you down. Mercy, mercy on me, please Gonna make you proud that I'm your man Just give me one more second chance I can't stand myself when I let you down I should have had it figured all out by now But I'll do better next time around well, I can't Sell myself when I let you down. You know I just can't stand myself when I let you down. I should have had it figured all out by now. But I'll do better the next time around. I can't sell myself when I let you down. I can't sell myself when I let you down. That's Andrew Stern on the electric guitar this Hi, afternoon. Nice. Man. Inaugurating over there. Sounded good. <laughs> well, this sounds great, man. This is clearly, uh, you clearly have experience in this room, as is evidenced <laughs> by, by the fact that uh, Abby so graciously pulled your oh, portrait off of the wall, wow. along yep. with uh, many other uh, area 
artists who uh, who are familiar <laughs> with this place. So this is awesome yeah. to do this sort of sort of homecoming session with you today. Yeah, man. I mean, when we've done this in New York City in the past, like I love New York City, but I've, I'm a little bit like Curious George in New York City. I'm like looking around for the man with the yellow hat, just so I can just like follow him around and feel safe. You know, it's like <laughs> it's like I, I'm not. I don't really know what I'm doing in New York City, but I'm, you know, here I'm very comfortable, as you as you mentioned. I'm not many sure times. that anybody knows what they're doing in New York City. It might be what makes it all work. Every eight million people just kind of that's right trying to figure it out. Right. Um, so we, I know that you work with with a lot of area artists. In I mean, in addition to what you do, uh, singing and songwriting with your own music, you produce Laurie McKenna's album. You work with with Paula Cole, um, Josh. I know you play with Josh. Josh is not from here, but I know. Um, yeah, I used to live here though. Really, you know, it goes. It, it and counts. so <laughs> that uh, working working with those artists, I'm wondering what has what has happened to the balance between how much of Mark Arelli music you do these days, since everything has been turned upside down, and how much you still do with production on other people's work. What does that balance look like for you today? Well, there's a lot less production uh, in the last few years, just because. Uh, production for me is a very all-encompassing kind of thing, and I, I have kids. I got a dog. I I just I can't. I have too many things to like ignore to kind of just focus solely on this one thing. So, I'm not saying I wouldn't produce something else, but it would have to be something really special, like another Laurie McKenna record or or some such thing. Uh, it's mostly solo work and uh, and sideman work, and it really it just depends on who calls first. It, it, it doesn't make any difference to me. Um, which it is. I, I love playing music. I love playing great music. And if it's mine, wonderful. And if it's somebody else's, also wonderful. You know, it's, it, it really just is kind of wherever the energy is at a particular point in time. And at least for the last year or so with Blindsided, you know, just out, uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of me. So I'm looking forward to the side man stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, we are. We appreciate it in any iteration, man. It's always great to be in the same room with you. And there is more of you coming up. We've got uh, there's uh, yeah. there's some brand new brand new music coming up second. Yeah, brand new EP uh, of uh, just a tiny little EP, uh, three song EP of uh, of love songs from various perspectives. Uh, and it's called Jackpot, and it comes out on February 12th, just in time for Valentine's Day. Uh, but the first single comes out on like this Friday, so I thought we this would be a fine promotional opportunity to uh, to take advantage of. So uh, this is called Handmade, and we are gonna actually just tune, which I could have done that whole time. It's okay. But as we have discussed earlier, the internet can wait, so there it is. We've got the yeah. opportunity. I mean, that's the thing. Like there. If you're if you're bored while I'm tuning on the internet, there's plenty of other things you can look at. I mean, it's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty slow. All right. Well, this this new song is uh, is called Handmade, and it is um, I recorded it during the Blindsided sessions, but it just didn't quite fit on that record. So I'm really glad it's coming out, and uh, it's a duet with my friend Maya Devitri, who lives uh, down in Nashville, and uh, goes something like this: One, two, three. It's a little rough to the touch Some on the edges don't line up flush It ain't much to look at, but it's all ours We don't trust the roll of the dice we cut once, but we measure twice What we have is written in the stars Are you and me, babe? We got a love that's handmade Bit by bit, it's taking shape But I know that it's worth the wait Summer sun, 
So a long winter don't scare me none We'll have enough to last us until spring Nice, man. Thank you for premiering it here. We appreciate it very much. This sounds great thus far. I know we're only uh, only halfway through. There's still a lot of music left. And we so that Ooh. was Is it time was... for the set break now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, can we guys do you need a cider? Do you need a do you need anything we can we can accommodate? The I'm bathroom positive. line is crazy long. So. <laughs> we so that was uh, a Nashville collaboration on that last one on that new song and I know the blindsided was uh, was equally Nashville centric. There were yep. a ton of players from down there that you worked with. Can you talk about some of those players uh, who who worked on Blindsided with you and sort of what what each brought to the table. Absolutely. I mean, Blindsided was my tw 12th solo record and all 11 previous solo records plus a bunch of other side projects had all been done uh, recorded here in either Massachusetts or in Maine. Not even in other New England states, just like Massachusetts or Maine. So I'd been so centered around the, the two states in which I've lived in for so long. I, I really just wanted to try something new and kind of more, less geographically new, but more reaching out into other musical communities and other other people that I, I had come across in my, my travels and in touring on my own and, and as a sideman. And I started to kind of come up with this mental group of people like who have I really connected with musically or personally you know guys like um, Kai Welch the keyboard player I met at a music camp up in New Hampshire and I met Sadler Vaden the guitar player uh, when I was out with Josh Ritter opening up for Jason Isbell in the 400 unit and uh, so I started making a list of these guys and I thought okay if we can get these guys this this will be amazing we'll pr we probably won't be able to get all of them but we did and it just so happens they all live in Nashville or thereabouts. And so, you know, it wasn't so much deciding to make a Nashville record or kind of going down with, for a Nashville collaboration. It's just I had these specific people that I really had made a connection with uh, over the years, and that's where they all lived. So I, I went to them and, uh, and brought my friend Zachariah Hickman uh, to produce the, uh, the whole thing uh, down from Boston. Beautiful. Well, dude, I've enjoyed it very much. We got to, uh, I've been listening to Blindsided quite a bit. Oh, thanks, And man. We, we got a preview of it last time, last time you were in the studio mm -hmm. in New York. We heard, uh, we heard Stranger's Eyes, which yeah. was in the, probably in the formative stages at that time. It was still yeah. probably many months before, uh, before it was recorded, but we right. got a preview of it. Can you talk a little bit about, and that's the song coming up, coming up next, I believe. Yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about the ways that it has evolved from the, from the formative stages that we heard in 2018 to the recorded version to what's happening? now yeah well uh it, i mean it got 
it got strings on the record, which was very cool. I, I had been thinking that it might be more of like a, it's a kind of soul tune, and uh, I had been thinking that it might, might be more of a horns kind of situation, but um, it ended up kind of going in more of that kind of 70s blue-eyed soul kind of string uh, direction, and I was so glad for that. It, it really fits it well. Um, and then since then, you know, it's, it's interesting songs would would just naturally evolve on the road but that record came out on march 27th of last year <laughs> so there hasn't been too much evolving on the road i've done a few kind of outdoor distance gigs and andrew's joined me on a bunch of that stuff um i would say that it's just it's uh it's kind of toughened up a little bit you know on the record it's kind of kind of creamy and laid back a little bit and and uh you know, when I do it, you know, as a solo or, or, or duo or live with a band, it kind of, it kind of has a little, little bit more of an edge to it. So now I've set the bar really high. I'm like, now we better be edgy or, uh, or, or I will have lied to the Internet. <laughs> we all know that that, that does not happen. So uh, this, is, this is Stranger's Eye. You go about your days in your ordinary haze Like there's nothing wrong I'm worried about our prognosis You don't even notice We're barely holding on to this love It used to be so strong Now I feel so all alone Wondering where we went wrong And after all this time could read my mind, but you look at me with a stranger's eye. We said for better or worse, now we're running in reverse, falling out of love. And honey, I can't tell, is this someone else or am I not enough for you anymore? But I'm the same I always been And if you figured me out once, baby Maybe you can learn to love me again And after all this time I thought maybe you could read my mind But you look at me with a stranger's eye That did feel it. I mean, if there was a monitor, I, I would have put my foot right up on it. Like, that would have been very edgy. <laughs> man, that sounds great. Dude, thank you guys for Thanks, doing man. it. Um, we, I know when you, were, uh, when you went to record Blindsided, there's a ton of material to choose from. I mean, it was there like was. Over, over 30 songs. Can you talk a little bit about what was going through your mind to, to whittle those down to what appears on the album to give it some, uh, yeah. some the, the, the cohesion that it has? Yeah, well, that, I mean, that cohesion, that, that feeling of it being an album is still very important to me. Um, I know that that's not necessarily the way that people 
consume uh, music anymore or it may not be um, such a big thing for you know different generations coming up or whatever but I grew up with records and albums and and that's just how I think about it it's like if I were an author I wouldn't think about like writing a chapter I would think about writing a book you know and that's that's what I'm doing every time I put music out in the world so yeah there were just about 30 30 or more songs to choose from which is more than I'd had in recent years and um I really, you know, I had a list of my favorites, but I really trusted my producer, Zachariah Hickman. Uh, and, you know, he knew the, the players really well as, as well. And I said, you know, what do you think these guys would sound good on? You know, what, what, what works together well, musically, thematically? And his list actually kind of surpri surprised me. Um, there was a couple songs that I thought were like shoe-ins that had to be on the record that were not on his list. And I had to really kind of... Trust, you know, and, and that wasn't actually that hard because I've, I've known Zach for, for many years and he's a, he's a very good friend. And uh, I knew that he wasn't, he only had the music and the record in, in, in mind. He wasn't, he didn't have any other agenda other than, you know, making the best record we could. So there was stuff that got left off the record that didn't, didn't get recorded at all. There was stuff that we recorded that didn't make the record, like uh, that Handmade song we played earlier. And then there was stuff that... Um, you know, that I really wanted to record and put out in, uh, from that batch of songs and stuff like uh, The Hitter, which I put out as a single kind of um, before the record came out just to kind of, you know, get it out there as opposed to having it on the record. So I'm, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Nice. Well, I am too, man. My wife and I have listened to your record quite a bit, to a number uh, of your records quite a lot, and we're going to continue doing that, and we'll stay tuned for uh, as maybe some of those that, that that didn't make Blindsided end up out in the world. Yeah, man. And uh, we there is more from Blindsided that you're about to play in this session uh, last today. What's coming up for us? Yeah, well, I thought we'd end with... Um, this is actually a song that we've ended a lot of shows with. Uh, this is um, a song I co-wrote with uh, the great Chuck Prophet. Uh, wonderful singer songwriter rock and roll kind of true believer and uh, his friend uh, a guy named Kurt Lipschutz who goes by the pen name Klipschutz who's a uh, more of a poet um, than a musician but um, what an amazing lyric writer and the three of us got together when I was passing through San Francisco uh, several years ago and we wrote uh, three songs in two days and uh, and this was the, the first one so uh, it's called Her Town Now one, two, three, four. The days are cold, the nights are long, the bed's still here, but her pillow's gone. And all her friends were my friends too. Lost them the day she moved. This is her town. This is her town. This is her town now. This is her town. This is her town. This is her town now. And it makes me wonder why I stick around. It's her town now.
is her town, this is her town, this is her town now. This is her town, this is her town, this is her town now. And it makes me wonder why I stick around. It's her town now. She didn't see me. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Man, this has been a lot of fun, Mark. Thank you for doing this. Andrew, thank you for doing this. You guys sound great. And uh, happy release to happy premature, <laughs> happy premature release day. Sorry. Um, hand. <laughs> Handmade comes out on Friday, so <laughs> congratulations in advance to you on that. Um, we will you. we will look forward to it, and as new music is is announced, we'll very much look forward to it. Um, do you have is there is there any news uh, beyond Handmade, or we just stay tuned and uh, and wait to hear? No, I'm just I've been writing um, as much as I can remotely. I'm starting to kind of just kind of kick myself and uh, get off off my chair with that and uh, try and, and c collaborate with people virtually because it's it's just that's the way it's going to be for a while so I'm trying to trying to write some more stuff and and just kind of get ready for the next thing but last year I was like new content every week so I'm just like let's just take a step back <laughs> maybe write some more songs and and see what happens next Nice. Well, dude, we'll stay tuned. Thank you so, guys, again, so much for doing this. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Brad. All right.